What's going on everybody? Patrick from Obscure Reference here and it's another trailer reaction. I don't know what to tell you. Everything is coming up pat this week because guess what? Paddington's dropping a new trailer. Paddington in Peru has dropped their first trailer and if you're sitting there wondering what the fuck's a Paddington, let me educate you just real quick. Alright, so Paddington Bear's a little bear. I guess he's got some books and some cartoons over across the pond. Um, I think he has a presence over here in the States, but I didn't really know about him until he had his live-action movies a few years back, uh, directed by Paul King. I'm going to double-check that to make sure I got that right, but uh, those are two like legitimately incredible movies. If you've not watched them, I beg you to go watch them. They are fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, Paul King. I fucking crushed that. But uh, this is the third movie in the series. Uh, the second one is legitimately one of my favorite movies of all time. It made me cry on two different occasions, uh, different points in the movie. And it's just genuinely wholesome. Um, it is a little corny. It can be a little corny, but like it, it's not, I don't think, unwarranted or unearned. I think Paddington himself is... And this, 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 this is going to sound corny. He's, something, he's someone I kind of strive to be more like because he's just genuinely positive to everyone he talks to even people that are trying to kidnap him and uh, brutally murder him. Uh, so he, he's, it's a, it's a beam of positivity in a day and age when things seem so bleak and dark, and I've always appreciated that about Paddington. Uh, so this is his new movie. Paul King did not return to direct this. He was working on Wonka, uh, which I enjoyed, but uh, I kind of wish he was working on this instead. I'm blanking on who's directing this, but we'll start this trailer in just a second. Um, so then we can kind of I'll get back to you on that. Uh, or maybe I'm just going to look it up right now, so don't worry about it. Uh, Paddington in Peru is being directed by Doug, Dougal, Dougal Wilson. I don't know how you pronounce that, if I'm being honest. Does not look like he's done a whole lot of movie work. So... We're gonna take a look here and see if anything is worth, uh, if this is worth seeing in the movie theaters. So let's go. Remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Here we go. So it's, yeah, there's Patty's station. See the photos, yeah. Ah, there he thank is. you for using photo. My me. boy. Thank you for having me. Please note that headwear is not permitted. Sorry. Uh, Oh, he loves his marmalade. Make sure your face is within the red circle. Red circle. Right. Um, Commencing photos uh, in three, two, one. Colin Paddington. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> oh, no. He could Dear hurt himself. Aunt this. Lucy. I have very important news. We're coming so. to visit you. The Browns oh. are coming to Peru. So yeah, they had to recast the mom because she was also in Wonka. I think the rest of the Brown family is the same. But the mom's oh, definitely what a different. Handsome hmm? boat. Hola. Smooth, strong, easy on the eye, and uh, that's just the boat. Is that it's going in Voila. <laughs> no, it's not. Who is that? On Lucy! Paddington, we're here! On Lucy! I'm I have you questions. Set off on some sort of quest deep in the jungle. That's Olivia Coleman. No oh, my gosh. Aunt Lucy found me when I was a cub. Now I have to find her. But the Amazon is quite... Is it? No. Let me make sure I got that right. Large. We have yeah, it to is. try. And I have faith that you will survive. <laughs> I love Olivia Colman. This will be fun. That's great. I can show you where I'm from. Well, we wanted right. a That's holiday to remember. <laughs> is it me or is it getting a bit choppy? I appear to be driving the boat. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Welcome to Peru. Okay. There you go. Where's a good title screen? We'll stop on that. Um, oh, nope. You know what? That'll do. So, yeah, there we go. I'm intrigued for sure. That doesn't... 
I think taking Pennington outside of Britain, taking him back to Peru, I'm a little hesitant about that, uh, if I'm being honest. Um, let's see here. Yes, okay. So I'm just kind. Of, I'm just kind of looking at the cast. Yeah, Julie Walters is okay. Yep, cool, neat. Uh, nothing really for me to pull from there, other than uh, the person that's playing uh, Mrs. Brown is notably not Sally Hawkins, which yeah, I already knew that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I like that Olivia Coleman and Antonio Banderas are in this. I totally remember them being cast, uh, but I totally didn't remember until this trailer started so that's really cool um yeah honestly there's really not much for me to go off of i think i'm um going back to my point that i was making earlier before i kind of got sidetracked i liked having paddington in like a normal human civilization dealing with his neighbors in his neighborhood i think that's part of what made paddington 2 so much fun uh in that you know the bonds that he's cultivated with those people helped him in the end of the day uh when things were going from bad to worse uh, maybe i'm thinking of paddington one regardless all of them had like meaningful character arcs by themselves and all their lives were made better just by paddington even being there and just talking to them uh so kind of taking him out of that i think you run the risk of i don't know uh losing what kind of made the first two movies so magical that being said i think we have a fun cast here the browns are still around of course um you know, there's the mystery of where where the heck is Aunt Lucy. Uh, but I have to wonder, does she... Because spoilers for the end of Paddington 2. She shows up at the end of Paddington 2. Uh, so I don't know. My assumption, my assumption was that she was going to stick around longer than it appears she did. Uh, so I'll be curious to see what, how they write that one off. But we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. It, It'll be fun for to see where Paddington comes from because we've gotten glimpses of it, but we've never spent more than just you know a few minutes here. I don't think, um, other than like the beginning of the first movie, of course. And I'll be curious to see how um, his family deals with it, how you know we interact with the new characters. I, again, not a whole lot to go off of. It seems like there's a little bit. I don't know. It's not like there wasn't slapstick in the last two movies, but. It's a kids movie. There's going to be some of that. If you can deliver the heartfelt messages and the 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 jokes that are innocent enough for kids to la maybe laugh at and for adults to laugh at for sure, I think we'll have a good time on our hands. Though I do think this one runs the risk of not nailing that tone quite as well as the first two movies did. And that's just from a glance. I feel this is just me being a little negative Nancy because we don't have the same director we don't we're missing some of this you know actors from the first two movies um so I'm a little cautiously optimistic I don't think anything in here says that this movie is going to be bad I don't necessarily think there's anything in here that says it's going to be as good as Paddington 2 though so uh, I'll be keeping an eye on this one when there's another trailer I'll watch it for sure um but this screams to be more of a kid's movie than the first two were, if that makes sense. Taking us out on an adventure in the dangerous jungles of Peru, like, I, I'm just saying, like, things get, uh, once you go off map, once you go away, well, I'm just saying, uh, who knows what happens. I mean, God, maybe Paddington's going to have to, you know, bet off a finger one of his, okay, no, that's too far, that's too dark. Um so, yeah, I don't know if I really have too much else to say on this topic. Uh, it seems fun. It seems neat. I, I'll i probably see it, you know, hinging on if the next trailer doesn't look worse than this does. Um, but what are your thoughts on this? I'd be curious to hear. Uh, do you think the hype around Paddington is deserved? The movies, at least. I don't necessarily speak for the books or cartoons or whatever he's got. Um, but I, I'm of the opinion that Paddington 2 is one of the best movies of all time. That could just be me being biased, but I do really love that movie. Um, and I think it is a serious conversation to have. And do you agree with that? Uh, what is your hype level for Paddington in Peru? Will you be there? Uh, what is it? In January, I think, is what the date is. Um, yeah. Leave your thoughts below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We stream Mondays and... 
Fridays for now, but we'll be switching back to Thursdays. We usually play games on those days. Uh, that we're, we're fiddling around with some things, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we follow us on our socials, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you right now. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. Have a good day.